welcome to another episode of Carbs and Reckless Senior. I'm sure I sit in a car and BS while consuming carbs. Mad Zioner, go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mad Zion. We both links are in the description down below. We are at Oh God, Bur Green Burrito to try their brand new chicken and cheese enchiladas. Green Burrito is a, a part of Carl's Jr. out here. They don't actually have their own locations anymore. They're just attached to Carl's Jr. This continues to be a day of fail for Carl's Jr. though. Uh, the enchiladas took a long time to get. They were spilling out of the box here. Uh, they came in a bag and the bag is just drenched with the sauce and stuff. So they just, they didn't do a good job on my burger. They didn't do a good job on this. Whoever was back there making the food is, was not doing a very good job at all. Uh, the other fail, because it's because it slid down here. The other fail I had, I had the fork on my lap and it fell down into the crevices of my car and I have no idea where it is. So now we don't have a fork and now I'm just gonna have to wing it. But uh, yeah, this is what they look like. They actually look pretty good, solid presentation. I would argue to them though that they might want to get a smaller box because when you put your product inside of a box of this size and it takes up half the box only, it makes your product look a little unimpressive. It's just a nitpick, but I, like maybe these are just boxes that they use for all of the green burrito stuff, but it just kind of makes your product look like, eh, I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna have to do this with my hands, unfortunately, because uh, the fork has went on a journey uh, to find itself sexually, I guess. Uh, here we go. Okay. All right. I got it. I got it. I'm just gonna have to ghetto this. Here we go. Oh, they're going everywhere. Now, I am a harsh critic on enchiladas because my mom, growing up, my mom would make enchiladas and she, I mean, they're just delicious. They're so good. Mom, great job on your enchiladas. These are okay. They are nowhere near as good as mom's. I guess I shouldn't expect it though because it's a fast food place. It's not mom much different place. They've got a great spice to them, and I would attribute that to probably to the jalapenos that are inside it and the other miscellaneous peppers, but but it's kind of bland a little bit too in terms of actual flavor. Like heat is good, flavor, it's okay. I am certainly done with them. Uh, it's the sauce. The sauce is the bland aspect of this journey. Yeah, I just do not like the sauce. I think that's the, the worst part, and sadly, that's like one of the main portions of an enchilada. The chicken inside was good. It wasn't amazing, but it tasted good. And uh, like I said, the heat is really the best part of this. The jalapenos in there or whatever peppers they put in really capture that. It was a nice burn. It wasn't too heavy. It was just enough where I was like, ooh, yeah, that's good. Well, there's a car driving by right now that has its back, back uh, bumper, not bumper, whatever up. <laughs> it's, there you go. You see it. You need to close that, bro. That's, that's not safe. It's your trunk. There you go, your trunk. Overall, uh, kind of disappointing. I mean, green burrito stuff for me, it's always, it, to me, it's like the bastard child of Carl's Jr. I just, I never get it, ever, under any circumstance, because there's so many better fast food places that have Mexican food, like Alberto's. Just go to Alberto's. Go to Taco Bell. It, and you're, even though people fight me on Taco Bell and say, it's no Mexican food, it's beans and cheese, okay? They do that better than green burrito. I just, green burrito has never impressed me all that much. I would rate this just a three. They're middle of the road. They're okay, nothing great, and just uh, good heat, but just kind of bland. And that's usually green burrito for me in a nutshell. So that's that. What are your thoughts on this bad boy? Let me know in the comments down below. And hey, hey, all you need is love and probably blow or something. I don't know. Maybe. Mad Zion, you're saying we'll see you on the next episode of Carbs.